Hammer 6 0 to base camp. Come in. Base camp, come in. Are you reading me? Condition 1 storm has closed in. We're in the grip of the beast now. We cannot continue. Over. Hi. You still alive back there? We've got to get out of this weather. I'm flying blind up here. We must turn back. You're right. You should turn back. I'll get out here. Hard parts getting out of your chopper the way you're flying it. You're crazy. You'll not be able to see anything down there, and I cannot help you. Hey everybody, what's up? Scorchape482 here with another Survive It commentary. Today I'm going down Aoraki, located in New Zealand, and the Deadly Descent is right out. So, uh, Ty will actually be equipped with these handy dandy pulse goggles, which will allow you to see through the snow. So, this Deadly Descent is seen by a lot of people as the hardest Deadly Descent, of course, excluding the last one, which. Uh, stay tuned because I will be making a video on that. Anyway, going back, a lot of people think that this is the hardest one, and I agree with them. So I have a lot of tips for you guys, but I could not fit all these tips into one uh, gameplay commentary. So there's actually two gameplays in one video. So if you guys are wondering why this video is longer than the usual survival commentaries, that's why. So jumping right into my tips, when you're first starting off, the best thing you can do is practice as much as possible on this run. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to try to get a set path that you use every time you go down this run. You need a path. Otherwise, if you don't know where you're going, you're probably going to end up in a crevasse. And you obviously don't want to do that. <coughs> so, some tips on how to find your own path. One good path is following Griff. Now later on I'm not going to recommend following Griff, but when you're first starting off I do recommend following Griff because Griff usually goes down a moderately safe and fast path and if you follow him a couple times you'll probably get the path down in your head. Another good way of finding a path is by using the red flares. The red flares will distinguish land between crevasses because the pulse goggles don't really do a great job at doing that. So once you do have your own set path, by the way this is where it turns over to the next gameplay clip and bear in mind, I apologize guys, but this gameplay clip is not as good as the first one. I apologize. <coughs> so once you have your own set path, the biggest thing that you can do to make yourself fail a lot of times is by restarting every time you mess up. Generally, when people mess up in a race event, they immediately restart. That's not the case for this run because Griff messes up probably just as just about as much as you do. Plus, Griff doesn't really use Uber that much, meaning you can very easily catch up to Griff if you mess up. And that's that's just saying if he if he takes the lead over you. If you're um if you're a decent amount ahead, he probably won't take the lead from you even if you do mess up. So you're good in that sense. Now that also leads to my next tip is do not follow Griff because again he messes up. There will always be one or two times in, uh, or I'm sorry, on the run where he will go straight into crevasse. And if you are following him right on his tail, you're going to go right into the crevasse with him. And that's not good because you could have used that time to get ahead of Griff. So do not follow him. Now, on this run, generally people start to freak out, kind of like in my Kilimanjaro video, uh, survive it video, I'm sorry. And that's, w that's really bad. People generally freak out because you know you can only see 50 feet in front of you and that kind of freaks the person out because you don't really have a feel for the terrain well that's something that can get you killed as well is not staying calm you you have to stay calm and focused those are the two things you have to stay on 
and control. I'm sorry, and control. So that's what you generally have to do on this one. You can't freak out. You have to just stay calm and stay in control. My final tip is Uber is very helpful on this run, but it is not the key to victory. Safety and control is. You're much better off with finishing without falling into a crevasse at all than using Uber the entire time. So guys, that sums up my deadly descent down a Iraqi located in Alaska. Again, I apologize uh, for it being such a long video. I generally don't do this, but I had a lot of tips for you guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, most importantly, thanks for watching.